Warning! This video may contain strong foul language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here to talk about J Station, the fucking moron on YouTube that decides to make the 3 a.m. challenge videos. Well, I saw a video by Richard Rutech USA last night that J Station has been officially demonetized by YouTube and my opinion is that it's about time YouTube demonetized J Station because his videos were sort of clickbaity gaming the system and the fact that J Station is a is a complete idiot that didn't realize that his actions has his actions on YouTube have very serious consequences not just for him but in but at most YouTube as well because the fact that I'm actually surprised that J Station has not caused an adpocalypse again the only way it would have occurred is if the news media and other outlets kept talking about this and YouTube would have gotten a lot of backlash from everyone about J Station and the fact that J Station makes these videos that are very dumb and pathetic because I've seen some of his videos and one of his videos about the 3 a.m. challenge trying to do some kind of talk to like a his supposedly dead girlfriend. That's embarrassing because he's, his audio is like echoing the background in one video. There's excessive camera zooming, which I which was trash. Um, he. He basically kept saying guys quite a lot, which is also trash because the fact that he seems arrogant um, and a bit more of a douchebag with the way he was making his videos and officially he got demonetized by YouTube, but his girlfriend also split up with him after an incident occurred and YouTube took action on this based upon him being arrested by the authorities in Canada. Um, I just find J Station a bit of a moron because of his behavior is had is now starting to have consequence to him, and his bad behavior a little bit is showing the error of his ways and how it is leading to his channel to be demonetized for good. And without and without that YouTube monetization, J Station is just going <laughs> broke on that because YouTube yanked the monetization plug out on him. I wouldn't be surprised if JayStation's channel got deleted or something else. And also, I've seen another copycat of a clout chaser of a of a younger person that of a young English boy that's also trying to do another trying to copycat JayStation as well. Um, there was a teenager or something that was trying to trying to do what exactly JayStation did. And it was, and it really, the term clout chasing, I've looked it up on Google, and this whole clout chasing thing is just stupid and pointless. Um, it's just pointless to me, because it doesn't make any sense to do any kind of clout chasing. But again, that's just my opinion on that. And my second opinion is on YouTube should have canceled Anision's channel because Anision has had some bad behavior. I've seen videos by Have a Seat with Chris Hansen on this whole matter and how it's all played out. Chris Hansen and Mr. Repsion, Daniel Sulzbach, have been sort of targeted by Anision di like directly with lawsuits and all that. But the problem is, is that those lawsuits against Mr. Repsion and Chris Hansen have backfired big time against Anision, like have immediately have backfired on him. And I expect that Anision might end up in prison since this whole group child, this teenage grooming case is in the hands of the FBI and in the justice system. So I wouldn't be surprised that a, Anision ends up in prison and or combined with that, that YouTube deletes his channel altogether. 
and B, I really think that people, when it comes to YouTube and making videos, people have to be careful how they attract different age demographics on YouTube because Inision has been called out by other people for alleged grooming of girls, like alleged grooming. But again, I just still think that people on YouTube should do YouTube for the way it is meant to be done and the way it is intended to be used for the right reasons. Just like JayStation using the platform to, to cheat the system a little bit, he's been lost of monetization. Onision himself was making videos that are targeting young girls or something like that and obviously Anision has faced a little bit of flack for that a little bit more flack and it's caused him problems um i just really think that youtube at its current moment should clamp down and erase channels that engage in behavior like such as clout chasing or videos that really push things just a smidge too far over the edge but I wouldn't be surprised if Jason's channel got deleted and the videos. I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube deleted Onision and his videos because the YouTubers on the platform help dictate how YouTube looks to the general public with channels like Onision and Jstation and other similar channels that would probably ruin YouTube's rep reputation and other social media reputations for the companies like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If all of these YouTubers that make these kind of crappy videos do things that bring the reputation of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube all down a little bit because of the other person's actions. And I'm surprised that JayStation hasn't caused another ad apocalypse to the point where it affects other people as well. But it would be best if YouTube just completely took action on taking down channels or videos that cause trouble for others in the platform. It's like some, it's like a few bad apples in the bunch ruin it for other people that are using YouTube for the correct appropriate reasons. Me, I make videos based off of real life events or real life issues from news articles I basically take the information from a news article and put it into a video format directly to talk about it and share my opinion. I'm a witch, a person that I admit that it may cause a little bit of conspiracy theory to go around. It might, but again, I'm just here stating my opinion and what I think about this or that instead. So this is William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.